Hey Gemini, thank you so much for coming to your reading. This reading is actually going to be um, a October monthly reading. I'm sure as you guys can see, uh, my time has kind of been all over the place lately and it's because of my other job that I have. So for right now, I'm just going to do monthly readings and when I can do bonus readings, I'll throw those in there as well. With that being said, um, this should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome, welcome. It can be your situation or your partner. It just kind of depends on who's watching. Also, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. Um, also, too, feel free to check me out on Instagram. It's Accurate AF Tarot. Uh, if you follow me, I will follow you back and, you know, really engage because pretty much that's what I like to do. Uh, anyways, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you always can do, do so by checking out my website, aaftarot.com. And with that being said, Gemini, let's go ahead and hop into your reading. Here's what's hella crazy, okay? And it keeps twisting. I hope that you guys see that. Like, every time, like, I try to put it straight, it twists. Do you see that? Look, and it's not, look, I'm not even doing it. Yo, like, when I tell you, like, I have, like, weird-ass, like, spirits in my, like, area, like, for real please stay. Okay. Thank you. Um, so it's kind of interesting that this is how your partner, this is who your partner is. And I, I have something I want to say when we come to this, but let's just go ahead and pull out the rest of the cards. How does Gemini feel about their person of interest romantically? How does, how does Gemini feel about this person for October, 2019? How does Gemini feel about this person? Oh, okay. Ace of Cups. I feel like, honestly, Gemini, either this is somebody new coming in or this is a relationship that's kind of coming back to life here. I do want to uh, throw that out there. Um, what is uh, the current situation or issue right now with Gemini and their person of interest? What's the current situation between these two romantically in October? Gemini and their partner. Wow. Wow. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Leo or possibly an Aries, okay? Because we do have the Three of Wands and also the Sun card here. They may be a Leo with an Aries rising or an Aries with a Leo rising, something wonky like that. You also possibly uh, can be dealing with a, an Aquarius, okay? Um, what is the current block or situation or the current block or obstacle for Gemini and their person of interest in October? What's the current block or obstacle? Gemini and their person of interest, block or obstacle, okay. block or obstacle for Gemini and their person of interest romantically for October, block or obstacle for Gemini and their person of interest. It's weird. They're not wanting to distance. That's hella weird. Okay. All right. So we have distance. You know, Gemini is Mercury, right? And Mercury is about distance. Let's keep it 100. And a lot of times I feel like Geminis like to connect with people at a distance because then you have to build that relationship. That's more so one of like communication, right? Like fire signs, they like to physically see somebody because they want to be intimate, right? Water signs want to be emotionally involved. Um, where, you know, Gemini's, it's like, we want to talk. We want to see where your mind is. Like you have to stimulate us mentally before you can stimulate us physically. And that's not just something that's, you know, taken easily. I feel like for a Gemini, what's the best potential outcome here for these two romantically Gemini and their person of interest for October. Best potential outcome here. Woo. Okay. Princess of cups. There's something coming, a surprise. Some of you may be getting pregnant, so don't say I didn't warn you, okay? You know, I feel like, I'm going to be honest, top of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. This is something very solid. Uh, Gemini, I feel like whoever is coming in for you during this time, or if this is a new relationship that's kind of just starting a new part of a relationship from the past, this is somebody where whatever you contribute, they contribute as well. This is somebody, possibly even a Taurus, or may have a Taurus moon. This person um, is very solid, and their feelings for you are very genuine and very real, which I really like to see, to be honest. 
Now, your person, right? They're coming up as the soul, let's see, uh, soul retrieval, okay? Why is this key or why is this clutch? First, let's talk about the number 49, right? 49 breaks down to four, okay? And this is associated with the planet Uranus, so that's why I said um, Aquarius, okay? But this is somebody who's very practical when it comes to love, okay? So this person may have a uh, Air Venus, possibly, because they like the details. They're very trustworthy and hardworking, very steady, very helpful, very logical. They do have a lot of self-discipline. This person um, enjoys kind of like the idea of problem solving. Uh, sometimes they can be a little bit stubborn or narrow-minded. However, you know, um, I, I feel very strongly that, hmm, this person is a very loyal partner. I don't know why I think that, but I do. Especially with the soul retrieval here, I feel like a lot of us have gone through, and maybe your partner too, uh, somebody's going through a big transformation here, especially with the cocoon and the butterfly. It's like this person is either, either we are healing them or they are healing us of our past hurts, okay? This person is very enthusiastic and innocent. Um, and I do feel like this person comes after a level of hurt that probably stems from our childhood that we've kind of held on to and kind of taken relationship to relationship. Um, I also feel like this person at one time was very fragmented where they felt very broken and this can either be for you or them and you have come into their life because I feel like you and this person are mirroring each other right now. You've come into their life and you're really um, repairing the hurt of the past and they're doing the same for you. And I feel like for this person, it's like, they don't want to deal with the smaller things of life. Like that's not necessarily important to them. Can you give me some more information on Gemini's person of interest? Can you give me some more information? I do feel like they may be at a distance from you. This person. Oh, that's weird. Look, the only card that's upright is the 10 of pentacles. This person may be uh, financially well off or from a family that is well off. They also, uh, 10 of pentacles, that's Mercury and Virgo. Um, they like to talk about marriage. They like to talk about home. They like to talk about the future. They really like to have like, um, this is somebody who likes to picture it, right? That's why they want to talk about it. This is somebody who manifests, right? Based on uh, the things that they're saying. Because I feel like this person manifests things very quickly. What else do you want to tell me about them? Okay, look. They may possibly have a Capricorn sun, moon, or rising, or Venus. We do have the Queen of Pentacles here, as well as the world, okay? So this is a big Capricorn energy, as well as any of the fixed signs. So Libra, Taurus, Aquarius, uh, or Scorpio. Um, here's the thing. Let, let me ask real quick. How, how, how would Gemini feel about uh, the Queen of Pentacles? With the world, how would Gemini feel about this Queen of Pentacles in the world? Gemini feel about this Queen of Pentacles in the world. Gemini feel about this Queen of Pentacles in the world. Four of Wands. Okay, so there's a reason that I asked about that because here's the thing. For me, sometimes the cards will show us certain things, right? Like it will be like Ten of Pentacles. Okay, that's good, right? Queen of Queen of Pentacles. Oh, fantastic. This person's ready to settle down. There's a level of stability here, here. This person likes to go out. They like to take control of situations. You also could be dealing with a Cancer, Cancer Moon, Rising Venus, maybe even a Cancer Mercury here. But this person is very quick. They're very ambitious. They're very passionate. They're enthusiastic. This person is a leader. They want to take control. If they see something, they want it, they get it. It's very quick. This is a quick moving type of energy, even though we do have the pentacles here. But the world is here also, and how we feel about it is the Four of Wands. So I feel like for us, this really is a level of stability and security that this person is providing. It's also us settling down and us realizing that, hey, holy shit, did we manifest this person? Like, honestly, like, I feel like that's what's really coming through right here. Somebody may have a Venus in Aries, right? Like, I just feel like for whatever reason, and some of you may say I'm crazy, but it's like this person is very spontaneous, right? 
It's like uh, they're very impatient. If they are at a distance from you, they want you now. They may be from a different country, a different uh, nationality or ethnicity. Like this person is kind of dope. And here's what's awesome. I feel like this is this is the person coming to Gemini. And whether you're a man or a woman, I really don't care. I view Gemini sitting on top of the world because we have the sword. Okay, that's how I look at it. This person is coming to you saying like, hey, this is what I have to offer you. Here's what I have. Let's complete this cycle. Let's get married. Let's do this or let's do that. And how we feel about it is very secure. So this person is offering us a level of security and it can be from the past hurt of, you know, the people that we had prior, right? Because I feel like this person is the complete opposite of whoever we were dating prior. Why? Because the person we were dating prior was kind of like, um, if I remember correctly, they were just hit or miss. It was like hot and cold, sometimes here, sometimes there. And I just feel like for Gemini, what happens is, is we start to fixate, right? We fixate on this energy and then now we're manifesting the opposite because we're focusing on the negative. So I feel like this person really expresses themselves and they don't leave anything to chance. Like they don't want, you know, they really do want to start something, especially if it is a fire sign or a cardinal sign. Um, you know, they're very persistent on wanting you, okay? It's also a very stable energy, a very focused, a very dignified, and a very attached, right? There's a lot of strong emotions that this person has. And I feel like, Gemini, you're like, where the hell did this come from? Like, you kind of feel like it dropped out of nowhere, like it fell out of the sky, like in your app or, or in your lap. You could have met them on a dating app. You could have met them, you know, while you were traveling abroad. There's something definitely here about movement, obviously distance, okay? So this is kind of a kind of a dope energy. Now, how you feel about them is the Ace of Cups. Look, it's weird. And then this is this is turned over. I don't know what the hell is going on. You guys saw firsthand when I put put the card here and it twisted and it kept doing that so you guys know I'm not crazy and now it's sitting here fine. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take it. The Ace of Cups. I think that there's a lot of potential here. That's what I'm gathering. There's a lot of potential. That's Mars and Aries. You know, um, I feel like this is a very spontaneous, unrestricted relationship. I feel like um, there is some type of conquest here. Your partner may be very much into your hair or your face. Like this is somebody who will like grab your face like when they kiss you. Um, however, I do feel like you may think like there is a little bit of impatience here and being impatient, let me ref refrain that. Someone's gonna be like, that's not a word. Okay, well, fuck you, how about that? Anyways, um, yeah, I'm not great with words. However, I can build a goddamn, you know, macro and write code. So I may not know the whole vocab, but I'm trying. Anyways, um, cause sometimes I get roasted in my comments. So I just want to throw that out there. I do feel like there's, there's a little bit of impulsiveness here. And it's very instinctual. Like, like, I feel like, you know, you're trying to be one step ahead of this person, but this person's pretty goddamn quick. I'm going to be honest, Gemini. Yeah. Ace of Swords. Like, this is a new beginning here. There's a lot of clarity. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is this Ace of Swords here? What, what is their clarity on? Why, do, why does Gemini clarity? Ooh. Okay. Clarity from the hangman reverse, Pisces or Aquarius. I feel like for some of you guys, you were hung up on somebody in the past and that's no longer happening. And I feel like there was a sacrifice that had to be made. I also feel like too, with the world being here, to be honest, you know, uh, Saturn went direct, what, last week? So those of us that did the right thing, like Saturn's like, here you go. You did the right thing. You cut off the toxic person that you weren't supposed to be with. Here you go. Here, Here's the real deal Holyfield here. Here's, you know, here's your boo thing. Here's the person you marry. Here's the person, you know, you really settle down with and build a life with. Because I feel like, again, we have the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Swords. It's like there is a level here of balance, especially between your heart and your mind, like this person is stimulating both of them where you're no longer the only person that's stuck communicating, okay? How does Gemini feel about the hangman reversed? The devil, okay, hold on, hold hold, hold your beer, Gem. Let's figure out, you know, what the hell the energy is. 
because this could be like you finally see them and maybe it's like some freak nasty sex i mean hello can i come in um or it can just simply look mm-hmm Queen of Cups, yes, but I'm going to put it back because I'm going to ask my question. What's the energy of the devil? What's the energy of this devil? What's the energy of the devil for how Gemini feels about this person? What's the energy of the devil for how Gemini feels about this person? One more time. I don't know if that's upright or not. What's the energy of the devil for Gemini? Energy of this devil. Okay, judgment. What's being judged here? Judged here for Gemini, the Queen of Wands, Aries. Okay, Aries or Cancer. Here's the thing. I do think that there is a level of travel that, that comes into play. I think that if you were no longer seeing this person, I think you physically see them. I think that this can also be somebody from your past coming forward. I feel like, you know, the devil is here because there's a connection and there is something pertaining to partnership balance, um, duality. I'm going to be honest. I think it does have to do with love. I really do. Cause this is 15, right? 15 breaks down to six, six is lovers. That's Gemini. I feel like we're very focused on this person. We're very focused on again, Saturn going direct and us receiving whatever karma it is, whether it's good or bad. Okay. And I feel like we're feeling very good about it, especially with this Queen of Wands here. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries or maybe they have an Aries rising because sometimes I feel like how we feel about them or our perception of them, if we perceive them, let's say as a Capricorn, more than likely it's because they're rising as a Capricorn, right? Um, I am going to act how we perceive how we perceive them because how we feel about somebody, I may love the hell out or love the shit out of somebody, but how I perceive them is a fucking asshole because they're a jerk, right? So I now I like to ask, like, there is a difference here. So I want to see, like, how does Gemini perceive Prince of Wands, Knight of Wands? Okay, this is how we perceive our partner. Somebody, something that's very quick acting, like somebody that wants to go out there and take it, Sagittarius, or you also can be dealing with another Gemini, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, this person wants to move fast. This person wants to move quickly. Um, more information here. Maybe, like I said, a Sag Rising or something like that. Why is why? why they, wanna, they wanna physically like. You want to touch them? Eight of Swords reversed. What's that? Mars and Gemini. I feel like you are no longer in your head about this person. I feel like at one point in time, I think that you weren't exactly sure how things were going to work out between you and them. And now it's like you get it. Like you're no longer stuck in this place of what the hell is this? And I feel like honestly, and here's here's the crazy part, and I hope you guys don't sit here and and get upset with me. But you know, uh, I was making breakfast this morning, and I was thinking to myself, like I started to like fixate on something negative, right? And I quickly stopped myself, snapped myself out of it, and said, "When I fixate, it's it's called mindfulness, right? It's like when you fixate on something, you we tend to as Gemini's to squeeze it, right?" And when you squeeze it, you lose it. So for me today, I was like, yo, I'm not tripping off that. It is what it is. You know, if it's meant for me, it will be mine. If it's not, that that's, you know, there's a reason it's not supposed to be there. They're not on my frequency or I'm not on their frequency. Or, you know, I'm attracting what is on my frequency. So the moment that I let go of what is to come, honestly, like I felt a lot better and I feel like that's why this Eight of Swords is here. Because why is this Eight of Swords reversed for Gemini? Because of the Three of Wands. Because there's something that we're waiting for, but we're no longer stressing out about it. What's Gemini waiting for? Or we may know that they're waiting for us. The Two of Wands. You see? This person has a lot of fire energy, right? Where we want to take time to think about it. Like they may have a lot of fire in their chart or some of their main signs may be fire signs. This is Mars and Aries. Again, we have the two of wands twice. I feel like this person, like 
traveling, distance, um, you know, this person wants to take a, you know, a leap of faith. Two of Wands is also, to me, like, kind of like a partner card too, right? Still has the duality in the partnership, but they're waiting for us. Or we're, maybe we're waiting for them. I said, what's the Two of Wands here for? And it's the world. I mean... I feel like it's it's for everything to come together. Some of you may be traveling. Some of you may be receiving some information. Some of you may, you know, uh, have have to end one relationship before you start another one. Like there's definitely something here with um, a level of worrying that's ending. I really, really do feel like that. Whatever like hurt that you had or like I feel like there are some Geminis that went through like a really, really hard time that Three of Swords, Seven of Cups were like we questioned everything like why am I doing this? Why is this person doing it to me? What the fuck? You know, going back and forth, right? Like acting like we're hella crazy. But um, I feel like for the first time in a really long time coming up this week and in October, we're really going to take control of our uh, mind and let that shit go. And I think when we let it go and we let that hurt go and we let go of the person who really did hurt us, right? Because they're obviously, somebody did fuck us up originally. Um, I think that the person, the real person really does come in and they bless us with something beautiful. Now, the current situation, okay, we have the sun with the three of wands. I'm telling you. There is, an, um, there is an immense amount of happiness here, okay, for real. And it's just like we're waiting on it. It's coming. We know it's coming, right? Um, but but there still is something that, that's being waited for. And I feel like this has to do around family, around grouping, around teamwork. What's, what's being waited for here for the situation? What are we waiting for here with the situation? Look, travel, six of swords, communication, some type of communication coming in. That's Mercury in, a, in um, Aquarius. It's really like expressing exactly what is going on, right? And it could be that we want to have a level of, uh, we're waiting to see this person or to have a conversation with them and have like a level of harmony and rebalance. What's being said here with this six of swords for Gemini? Being said here with the six of swords for Gemini? The Knight of Pentacles. I know things are going slow, but I promise you there's something coming, something solid. There's Virgo and also Gemini. What's the Prince of Pentacles offering? What's this Prince of Pentacles offering, Gemini? Unless that's Gemini. Prince of Pentacles offering. Woo! Ten of Cups. Okay. So, and that's Mars and Pisces. Now, I want to say this. Okay, it is important for us to keep our emotions and our mental state in check. Okay, this is coming, especially with the Ten of Cups, especially with the Sun. This is something that we've manifested. However, I just want to say this you have to be careful with keeping that um, in check because I do feel like there's going to be uh, fluctuations of energy here, right? And I do feel like if you wait, Gemini, and you do the work and you stay the course with this person, it is a big payout. You have Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. You know, that's a completion. That's a conclusion. This is a transformation. It's also about being very optimistic, right? Being very optimistic about love. You know, it, it, it's about uh, marriage, family, having children possibly. For those of you that want kids, it's really, um, it can be somebody has to move, right? You move to them, they move to you um, or move in. But there is something very, very, very sensitive here, okay? And I feel like this is what you want. So just please, for the love of God, just stay the goddamn course. Um, how does Gemini feel or what's Gemini's perception of the situation? The Princess of Wands, the Page of Wands. I think, honestly, for you, you know that there is some type of action that needs to be taken. What action needs to be taken with this Princess of Wands? 
what action needs to be taken with the princess of wands by gemini action needs to be taken with the princess of wands by gemini the emperor there's aries i feel like for us it's being patient it's really like i'm not saying aries is hella patient but i can say this i've met a lot of aries that are very calculated and very patient. They know what they want, they stay the course, and they kind of do what they're supposed to do. What is Gemini's partner's per uh, perception of the current situation? The chariot. You see, it's like, there's cancer. Your partner's like, listen, I'm coming to you. Like, you, you don't understand. Like, I'm coming to get that ass, right? And then here we are like, Okay, well, fuck it. I guess I'll have to wait because, you know, you're on your way. What's riding on some goddamn alligators? And Gemini's over here pissed because we want it now. And then we start to stress out because we're like, how will this work? What are we going to do? How will this, you know, all pan out? And this person is just like, yo, everything is fine. We're going to have a level of security and a level of stability once I get to you. Okay. I feel like this is really, really, really good energy. And for some of you, you're going to be like, I don't have that person. I'm not talking to such and such. Okay, well, you know, this is what I can say. I do feel like this person is coming in. However, if you've not cut off that toxic piece of shit, sorry, cross watchers, this can also be reversed too. So before you hit that unlike, just kind of process it like that. Maybe the Gemini was a piece of shit. Okay, I know I've been a piece of shit on multiple occasions not proud of it but it is what it is um but until we cut that toxic energy out yo <laughs> we're not gonna get this we're not getting the sun we're not getting the chariot we're not gonna get the ten of pentacles and, and, and the ten of cups unless we do the hard thing and let go of what is not serving us something that really resonate resonated with me the other day and i was reading it and i'm i'm saying it to you guys one because i fucking love you guys but you know, we're all stuck on, everybody now is stuck on this whole twin flame thing, right? It's like, oh, it's a twin flame. That's why it's challenging. Like, at what point in time are we going to realize, like, relationships really aren't that challenging? If somebody wants to communicate with us, they're going to fucking communicate. Because we don't have a hard time communicating, right? If we want something, Gemini, like, we go get it, right? Relationships shouldn't be that challenging where it just, you know it gives you more anxiety than it does uh, happiness. Because when you're with that right person, it just flows. Like when you're really with that person that you're meant to be with, you know, struggles will come up occasionally, but you handle that together as a unit. And it's like, you're upset, they're upset. Okay, now you guys don't talk, right? Like that's not normal. That's not normal. Even though today people wanna perceive or pretend like it is, that shit's not normal. Did any of our parents go through this? Like, I don't think so. So maybe they did. Hell, I don't know. But I just feel like for us, it's really acknowledging. The moment we acknowledge what we want in a partner and in a man or a woman, we receive that. And something I read today was like, write it down on paper. Write down what you want in a partner. The moment you write down something, that's you acknowledging it. That's you taking an action, right? Because if you accept somebody who isn't giving you what you want in a partner, then you're communicating to the universe that you're okay with that. No matter how you slice it, dice it, rub it down. And I will say this, Gemini, Geminis are one of those signs that we're hard to forget. <laughs> okay? Just want to say that. Like, you have to be okay to let go of somebody and allow them to do the work. Okay? Now, rant over. For the, or for the obstacle, okay, we have distance. I just, I, honestly, I feel like this person is at a distance. Either they don't, you guys don't live together. They may physically be at a distance where you have to travel over water. Um, why is this an issue? Because of the Six of Cups, okay? Um... I just feel like you guys like really want to be with this person. You really want to start the family. You really want to have a level like a reunion, a reunion with them. 
and and I think you want to touch them. That that's what I'm gathering strongly. King of Wands, you know. There's Leo. Yes, come through, King of Wands. Um, it can be Leo, Aries, or Sag. I always take the King of Wands as Leo. Like, I just think for us, it's really understanding that this person is coming, but the only issue right now is that they're at a distance. Okay? Like, genuinely. Look, Six of Wands. Okay? There's Leo again. We have the Empress. Okay? Possibly a Libra or a Taurus. Um... This is coming, Gemini, but just know that because they're at a distance, it's just taking a little period of time, okay? So we are in a waiting period. So with that being said, um, if you want to find out what the hell the surprise is with this Princess of Cups, please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo. You can purchase the extended reading there. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you always can do so by checking out my website, aaftarot.com. And for those of you Geminis that actually want to connect on Instagram, yo, follow me. Accurate AF Tarot. All right. Super simple. And, um, you know, make sure, you know, you comment under a picture or whatever and just say, hey, and that you're from YouTube. And, uh, yeah. So I love you guys and October is going to be bomb.com and I will talk to you guys next time. Peace out, Girl Scout.